Now there's some other guys back in the MVP conversation. Jay Patterson, Malik Henry, who's going to play in the finals. I have no problem giving Malik the MVP if they go and win this game. What about Shay? So they get the winner of this game. Let's go right now. Let's go right now. Let's go. Competitiveness out here is like no other. You gotta be locked in and engaged every single second of this thing. Oh my. Come on. Hey, for you to touch that right Come on, guys. I handle pressure well. I don't really, I don't really buy into pressure. I don't really fold under pressure. I know in my heart and my mind I'm the top quarterback in the country. One. Hey, that's one. Get up on me, Moses. It was pretty cool to watch. There was a part in it where I just went, well, they were getting after me. Hey, Burtz, Burtz, Burtz. <laughs> Good catch, baby. Got a baby. Right, check down, check down, check down. I've seen a lot of things in my time, but that was awesome. Benji, you gotta run, Benji! Benji, you gotta run! Hey. hey, keep doing what you're doing, D. Let's go. Get him, Malik. Carries pass intercepted by Trayvon Mullen, a team leader beast. You know Malik can throw the football. He can do anything he wants in the football field. But is Malik tough enough to handle situations when it's not that convenient? I know. I know. Hi. <laughs> I know. We're going to get another one. We're going to get another one. I've seen guys just give it up. But Malik, he had a little something to him. Freddy, 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 Freddy kind of man's up. He knew these guys need me, so he kept pushing. Turn this into more of a seam, not a post, all right? So look, you right here? Oh, look. This is uh, this is that, this is that like, oh, okay, and kind of yeah, go, yeah, remember? Yeah. Look. That was impressive. Boom. If he can be that guy, he can be really special. Hey, hey, y'all give me the ball back, I'm gonna go score, right? So give me the ball, yeah, let's go, go, baby. Go. I know y'all can do it, I know y'all can do it, come on. Red, not to go. Last five days, he's one of the young men in this event that I think has grown the most. Oh! I mean, he showed that he can play with the best of those guys out there, and uh, I don't have any doubt that he's going to be very successful at the college level. <laughs> Malik. Good job, buddy. Got to answer right back. Uh, let's do uh, the quick wipe like you had. All right? They're flat. Let's do 13. 13. Here we go. Hey, don't forget. Look at it. If yeah. you don't like it, that's safe to go there. Yeah. Hey, big fella, I need wide you wide in, the mid, in the middle of the end zone. Patterson, when it's all said and done, he might be the most gifted quarterback here. When he knows where he's going with the football and he gets that back foot down into the ground, 
it's tough to stop him. Once we started scoring some points and got on a roll, he got all those other guys on our team behind him, got him excited, got him fired up. And that's a big part of this position is being a leader. And he led today. He's going for the jugular right here. Got his coverage too. Flag nine. He's got it. He's got it. He lives for this stuff. He has made this quarterback development journey his own, and he's crushed it. <laughs> he snatched the MVP award away from Lee. It wasn't that he didn't play well, it was that Shays was just on fire and he wasn't going to be stopped from winning the championship. Wow, that's a great ball. Yes! Yes! Yeah! Yeah, baby! Elite 11 is finished and uh, just got done winning the MVP. You good? Yes. When Trent told me I was the MVP, you know, I just kind of broke down and, and cried a little bit. You know, it's something I've been I've been dreaming about, you know, for a long time now, and for it actually to happen, you know, it's unbelievable. And uh, this just was an awesome experience that I'll never forget. Dad. Dad. Everyone wants to win it. Everybody wants to be the best. I'm so proud. I'll see you over there. All right. it's, it's hard competing with 17 other guys that are just as good as you, or you know, if not better. Thanks, so. I love to compete, and there's no better competition than at the Elite 11. Peters, Russo. This was a holistic picture of the entire journey of this player and the willingness to listen, the willingness to learn, the willingness to be coached. And I, I figured the first 9, 10 were going to be pretty easy for everybody and there were just a few of these that would be arguing over that last spot. I like Nick as a whole, as a, as a body of work for the week. You know, that's me. We always say, it's, it's, he, what's his unique trait, right? For Frank, it's obviously he's a freak, right? His, his makeup, his body, his arm, all of those stature. elements, his stature is, is perfect. But I think that when you win games in college football or in the National Football League, you win with your mind, you, with, you win with your anticipatory skills. And this dude, I think he's a cut above. There's also another argument I'm just going to bring up. One guy has been Mr. Elite 11 since the beginning, Jet. So we put him in instead of Felipe or Starkle? Yeah. To me, I, I love Jet and I love Nick, but if we're rolling the dice on 11th guy, look at the guys that are playing in the NFL right now and they look a lot like Felipe. He's going to be a very successful college football player. Just because of his athletics, his athleticism and his ability to throw the football, is, he'll integrate it into the college setting really well. Notoriously, the 11th guy a lot of times for us has always been a guy that has kind of, you know what I mean, been a long shot, been a feel good kind of guy before too. And if we are going to miss, Jet is the kind of kid I would want to miss on. It's either you want a guy on the list because of his, his potential ceiling, or you reward a guy for handling the journey as well as you can handle it. I mean, it, there, it. I think at the first day we always say we're looking for the top 11 quarterbacks, the top 11 competitors. Do you get black and white at the end of the day? I think that's where we have to go. I hope, no matter what is said here tonight, that at some point you lay down and you just go, man, that was awesome. 
This whole journey really means so much to me, and I hope it means so much to you. For those of you that don't get called up to be part of the 11, don't call it a failure. Call it a temporary setback and use it. But don't, don't let it identify who you are. All right, now with that, I am gonna announce the 11. It's in no particular order. All right, the 2015 Elite 11 MVP, Shea Patterson. It's been everything I thought it would be and more. You know, it's something I'm gonna be able to take away for the rest of my life. Shane Bouchelle. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Congratulations. All, the, all this stuff has been so much fun, and it's just nothing I ever dreamed of. Brandon Peters, KJ Casella, Jacob Eason. Ever since sixth grade or seventh grade, I've always wanted to be a, an Elite 11 quarterback, and I think that it's a dream come true. Brandon McElwain, Malik Henry, Jared Guarantano. I conquered a mission that I was on ever since I was six, seven years old. Anthony Russo, congratulations. Thank you very much. The 10th member of the 2015 Elite 11 class, Dwayne Haskins. To be here is just something that I dreamed of, I never thought would become a reality. Felipe Franks. Good job, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Get to know him through the process, and that's extremely hard. It doesn't matter who didn't make the 11. It's not the point. You guys all came here to compete. And this does not represent truly the fraternity of Elite 11. These are kids. <laughs> this isn't their job. This isn't the NFL. This isn't even big time football yet. You're gonna grow to adults, young men that are gonna do really cool things. Many of you in football. But some of you do, will do things far more important than football. And honestly, I think that's what we'll be more proud of when we look back at this thing. Okay, so everybody get up there. Circle up, circle up, circle up. Shay, it's on you, baby. It's not about winning. It's about this process of pursuing it and trying to be the best you you can be. Dear football, I'm not sure why we met or the reason you were put into my life. Not sure why we met and the reason you were put into my life. It's as though I cannot explain you. It's as though I cannot explain you. Dear football, there is a love between you and I. But there is a love there between you and I. Dear football, of course everyone sees it on a Friday night, Saturday afternoon, or on Sundays. But we know better. But we know better. But we know better. Dear football. Dear football. Our love, our relationship is much, much deeper than that. Much deeper than that. Dear football. Dear football. It's early in the morning. Late at night when no one is looking. When no one is looking. Dear football. Dear football. That lonely work. And that lonely work is when you and I go face to face. When you and I go face to face. And that lonely work is when you and I are completely honest with one another. Completely honest with one another. Dear football. Dear football. It's when we embrace the burden of influence. The burden of influence. The joy of critical downs and distances. And distances. And the depth that goes far, far beyond, beyond the X's and O's. And O's. Dear football. We make a choice. Every day when the sun comes up, we make a choice. We choose to love what we can do for the game versus what the game can do for us. We make a choice. Dear football. Dear football. We choose to respect everything and, and everyone. everyone. Everything and everyone. Dear football. Dear football. Dear football. We choose to compete. We choose to compete. We choose to compete. Dear football. This. This. This is the Elite 11.
tonight's show, I would like y'all to help me introduce Jared Guantanamo. Tattoo. <laughs> You're not gonna shake for me? Oh, oh. Yeah. Lipe definitely got a shake for me. Lipe definitely got a shake. You're not gonna do you're not gonna do your bachata, right, bro? Oh, hey. Oh. Right here with Lipe Franks. <laughs> Right, the fanny pack movement is back. <laughs> but I can't rock one because I have a dad bod now. <laughs> See, the fanny pack not only has good style, but it's very useful. You know, you can put, uh, I got headphones in there. I had my IDs in here earlier. I got my wallet in here, you know, fake Louis Vuitton wallet. And I put my phone in here sometimes too. You know, it's just, it's a great overall product. <laughs> 